what is the purpose of this story? If you read the Quran with me, you will see a bunch of Jews, they came to Muhammad and they asked him, tell us about Prophet Zul Qurnayn. So Muhammad is a fool. He thought really, because they told him he's a prophet, he thought now, okay, I will deliver him a story. He could not answer. So now he took some time searching, finding out there's no YouTube at that time. There is no Google. He have to find a story from people around him. There are some slaves, they are coming from Syria and Assyria. And even we have their names in the books of the Tafsir. They are the one who tell Muhammad yes. stories and we have Salman al-Farisi. So the story becomes very famous in the Middle East. This is written way long before Muhammad uh, about Zul Qurnayn. And Muhammad adopts the story as usual, as in chapter 9, verse number 61. The Arab, they call Muhammad an ear. Why? Because whatever you say to him, he put it in the Quran. So they ask him, who is the Prophet Zul Qurnayn? And now Muhammad, he come back and he told them, okay, I got you the answer from Allah. And now he started doing his, you know, his story, which is nothing but a stupidity that he found. He keep going, keep going, conquering until he found the sitting place of the sun and near it, he found the sun sitting in a spring of a black muddy water. And not only that, when he continue, he found where the sun rise to, to tell you that the Quran went all the way between the east and the west, which means there's no land. He did not cover it. No land, he did not occupy it. He found the setting place of the sun. He found where the sun, where the sun rise to and where the sun rising right. place. And then uh, the, the biggest popo he, Muhammad he made, suddenly he come with the story, which is legion, about a group of people who they are evil. And they are people of Gog and Magog. And the Gog and Magog is mentioned in the Old Testament, but about a, a place, not about the people. People who live in that territory, not, not the Argog and Magog. So Muhammad, he come with his own fiction story, which he collect from people around him. He put it in the Quran. And now we build a dam between two mountains to prevent those people who they are not a human like us, they are evil, to come to us and to attack us. And they will dig and they will keep digging a hole in the wall until the day of judgment, until Allah he allowed them because they say, inshallah, when they are digging. When they say, inshallah, the hole will not be closed no more, and the hole will get bigger and bigger, and they will be able to come and attack mankind. And they are a huge in number. One of us equal, or they will be from the other side, Gog and Magog, 1,000. Uh, yeah. One yeah. So all the story yeah. is stupid. And I, how, in the, how in the world anyone would believe in such a thing? So this guy... Yasser Qadi, when he made this video, he was a question, the story, and the Muslim gets so upset from him. Because how you can question the Quran? All what he is saying, okay, the guy, he built a dam. And he built it from copper and iron. Which dam made from copper and iron can stay for thousands and thousands of years? Where where we can find that dam can be, I mean it's impossible. This is a material will 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 rust will be destroyed by the nature. If you put if you put a knife, and your knife is made in like in very bad way, not uh, stainless steel, you put it outside in your yard and there is rain. A few days after you will see the rust starting. Leave it for a, a, a six seven months. You will see how weak it is. Leave it for two years. The knife can be broken by your fingers. Rust will eat it. So how this dam is built, and the Quran mentioned even uh, the material. You know, the material is copper and iron, and both. Or you know, are not uh, like nature resistance. See, if you say gold, I would say, okay, they build the dam from gold, and gold will stay. If they say aluminum, I would say, okay, you know what, aluminum will never rust. But this is steel and copper. So this story is not even good for kids.